You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yep. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, you'll get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for Outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. But you, <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. I need to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Bastard! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. nobody oh. get shot! No. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! Please, please, don't do it! I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Don't do this! No! Why do this? Please don't help me. We're dying over. What's the problem? Tell him, Mr. M. Come on! In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. You do seem to think we're playing games. Don't molest me, please. Don't do it. I don't do this. Je ne veux pas mourir maintenant. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? Okay, huh? Show this 
son of a bitch, we ain't playing around here. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Reach out. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Par pitié, je vous en prie. Come on! Quel monde de son bar? Come on, come on, people, don't be shy. Ain't even taking a look yet. There's probably something in here, Arthur. Chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. These folks are rich, all right. All right, we should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. There's some decent stuff. Got a problem? There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. 
Last chance. Drop this. Shit. We got more on the left. That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yeah.
Come on, or push. <laughs> Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? Been a while since you were through here. All right, take a look. Do not leave it near the campfire. Yep. Done. Good choice. Nice. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Bye. Stay safe and quiet now.
Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. That's a good choice. High quality. This horse will pass for nobility when I'm through. Days get longer and longer. There you are. Got a fancy streak, huh? I oh, appreciate it. I'll make this horse prettier than you. <laughs> Came to the right shop today, that I guarantee. You see any of the chickens yet? Every morning I wake up to those damn birds clucking away. 
Be sure to let everyone know where you got this nag room. Okay. More than that. It's okay, boy. Take it easy there. Easy. You're okay. Easy. Good. Stay 
calm now. Morning to you. Morning. I'll be tending to you shortly. Morning. Quite the bounty you acquired, ain't it? Hello, how can I help? Thanks for your assistance. Hello, there, mister. How's you? It's been better. Just get out of my way. Follow me into the Jakes as well. Let's go, boy. Crazy fool. Will somebody help me out? I was in the army. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Been a long time. So, what are you aiming for today? Be careful with the pages. Every man got to have a revolver. Should have seen you going for that pistol. Ooh, you like fast, huh? Nasty. 
Good choice. Spit him like hell. If that paper boy stays at that post next to my shop any longer, I may lose it. Very dangerous for a gunsmith to snap. <laughs> you love it. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. Yep, this is the one. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I do quite a lot of blacksmith work in here, too. Don't mind the clutter. It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. Sold my old blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week. <laughs> that boy's out looking to get someone, that's for sure. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Huh. Doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Fine piece. I got some nice carved stocks here. I think you should take one. Carry it with pride. Thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Good, good. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving.
The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that in Valentine. Any information about anything, anything at all, you give me a shout. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Uh-huh. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. If you need anything else, let me know. Thank you for your help. Howdy, partner. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well, we're the last, I reckon. We ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where Amen. are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Hello, sir. <laughs> Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. 
Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. I'm going to have to take this on credit. Uh, well, no, wait. We ain't even discussed terms. Or I can take it in a way that ain't so polite. Okay, okay, fine. You can uh, pay me later. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God...
Will you tell me what you've got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. 
least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in there. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Go on, give them a warning shot. Something close enough to make them cut and run. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That spooked him, all right. All right, let's go round him up. Okay, boy. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Hold on now. <laughs> Easy. Ah. <laughs> Let's head for town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. We'll be making next week's auction at this rate. You 
ain't helping. You got it? Those are up, boys. There you go. What are you getting off? Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity. About their provenance. <laughs> a lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Easy. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whip.
Not everything. But in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting scum like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am Archibald Smith. Wants to be the Messiah. Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn. Who may
us and let's go. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> I better get out of here.
Oh, I got you. I got you. Idiot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Evening, Arthur. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? Evening, when we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure, this can wait. Easy. Okay, boy. Let's go. Careful. spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So... We're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And... There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. Hey, wait up. Come on, we gotta stick together. Anyway, you were saying? You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Hey, wait for me. Why are you riding off on me? Hey, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there.
easy. He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Wait a second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Ah. You really have to do that? You don't need it now. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. Man, be careful. I see something over there. He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. I think I saw a camp up ahead. Let's go take a look. All right. Ah, you really have to do that? He don't need it now. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Everybody. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And be careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail.
There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. the shore here. So like I was talking about, bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. <laughs> yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you? Where are you? Come on! Easy there. Stay calm. this trail. Anyway, what were you talking about? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year ago. He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Oh, seems deserted. Let's take a look. <laughs> so 
Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick. Cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht! Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne! Vorsicht! Great cover! Three coming right at us! Back to his family. Bitte, lass ihn nicht gehen. Sie sind alle weg. Come on, he looks in some pain. Man. Okay, getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Also soll ich mitkommen? Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Ja.
Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw. How you doing, old friend? Um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along, old Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Coming past. Okay, go. Why don't we just fish here? It's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. 
before any of them back there. Oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Cody McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke! Ah. <laughs> Idiot! Now get after the others, come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yeah! Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, uh, stop bastards! Uh, I didn't do uh, nothing! Uh, uh, bastard! Uh, That's enough! Damn it!
Tommy? Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. Oh, right, you Just kill him. Are you sure? I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Grain. Whoa. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop, don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. Okay, this way. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. 
But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? So you coming or not? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man.
Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. You coming in or what? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love her? Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. You better follow that order, right? <laughs>
This one ain't supposed to be here. We don't let folk wander through this property. Get out. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. Off you go. You come back again, we'll think you're a grand. Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of... Thank you. 